Hi, today I'm going to show you how to interpret a ternary graph, a specific type of graph that often appears in section one logical reasoning questions. These graphs are usually used to show composition. So when you have a substance that is made up of three different components. Now, on the screen, we have an example of a basic ternary graph. So at each of the apexes of the triangle, we have a different component. So in this case, we have component A, component B, and component C. Now, each of the apexes, say at this point at the top, our substance would be 100% component A. At this bottom left corner, it'd be 100% component B, and the bottom right, 100% component C. At the apexes, it's quite easy to interpret the graph. However, as we move into the middle of the triangle, it becomes a bit more difficult. Okay. So say, for example, we have a point here on our graph. Now, what does this represent? If we want to know what percentage composition this point is, we have to first work out which axis refers to which component. To do this, say if we're looking at A, okay. say if we're looking at A, look to the opposite side which is this line here. This line represents that the substance has no component A in it at all. If we look at the next line up, parallel to this line opposite the apex of A, we will see that the substance is 10% A. Therefore, all the numbers up this side refer to component A. If we look at B, first we look at the opposite side and then follow these lines. The one furthest away will represent 0% and the one closest will represent 100%. Therefore, these values relate to component B. And finally, these values will also relate to component C. Now, if we look at this point again, using this, we can follow it along to see that it's, this substance is 60% component A, 20% component B, and 20% component C. As you can see, all these values will always add up to 100%. That's all on ternary graphs. Hopefully, if it appears in the UMAT now, you will be able to correctly interpret it. Thank you for watching.